So I'm going to use three different models, Harold, Harvey, and the Wireman, which I know everyone is afraid of, but I promise he's not that bad once you get to know him. So all of the blood going up to the head and neck is coming off of the aortic arch. There are three branches of the aortic arch, the brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, and left subclavian artery. So you'll notice this is just the brachiocephalic artery because there's only one of them. And it almost immediately splits into the right common carotid artery and right subclavian. So the carotids are going off to the head, the subclavian is going off to the arm, but there is a branch of the subclavian, the vertebral artery, that we cannot see here. The vertebral artery is going up into the back of the head, into the brain. So looking at this guy, we can see the right subclavian and left subclavian, and this is the left common carotid. So I'm going to stop saying right and left because I will 100% say something wrong if I do, but just so you know, everything I'm saying is paired and therefore should always be right or left. So the common carotid splits into two branches. There's the external carotid and internal carotid. The internal carotid is going up into the brain to meet the circle of Willis, so we won't see any more of that on this model, but the external carotid has a lot of branches. Now we can't see all of them here, but I'll point out the ones we can. So going to the thyroid is the superior thyroid artery. This is the lingual artery because it's going to the tongue. The facial artery. Occipital artery maxillary artery and superficial temporal artery. So when it splits into the maxillary and superficial temporal artery, that is the end of the external carotid artery. So this is where the external carotid artery ends. Now I'll point out, and you can also see part of the occipital artery there. And if we go to the other side, this is the superficial temporal artery. And then behind the ear is the posterior auricular artery, because auricular means ear and it's behind the ear. So the trick with Wireman is you just have to start from some place you know and build your way out from there. Now we're looking at him from the front, but I'm going to turn him around so we can see the back because the veins are kind of in the way when we're looking at him from this way. Okay, so you start somewhere you know. This is your aortic arch. And here are your three branches. Now because we're looking at him from the back, this is the brachiocephalic artery. Going to the head would be the left common carotid. And going to the arm is the left subclavian. Now here you can see what I was talking about before, that vertebral artery coming off of the left subclavian and the right subclavian and going up into the brain. So the brachiocephalic artery, you know that splits into two more arteries, the right common carotid and the right 
subclavian. Okay. Now, here you can see the left common carotid splits, and it splits into the internal carotid and, and external carotid. So to talk about the branches of the external carotid, it's easiest if we look at him from a side view. And now that we can see all of the branches, we can use the mnemonic, some anatomists like freaking out poor medical students. So it's some anatomists like freaking out poor medical students. So superior thyroid, ascending pharyngeal, lingual artery, facial artery, occipital artery, posterior auricular, maxillary, and superficial temporal. Remember, when it goes to maxillary and superficial temporal, that is the end of the external carotid.